The key here, and I mean, obviously we've had some quite strongly voiced, I suppose, debates in, in Tim Ward over this, and it's something we looked at when I was on the Environment and Infrastructure Policy Review Committee. Um, and we were very keen on adopting the 2006 bathing water standards because it almost felt outdated to be assessing ourselves against the 1971 standards purely because we knew we could achieve those. <laughs> when actually the new standards were, were set for a, a valid reason in that that is the current recognised best practice for human health. <laughs> if I'm honest, I would be reluctant about going back to an old standard just because we think we could achieve better against it. I think what's absolutely fundamental in this entire conversation is the bringing online of comprehensive sewage treatment works, and I think you know, we'll keep coming back to that. <laughs> and I recognise... You know, the frustration of the local authority, because in reality they are you know, passengers on, on a journey in this regard, and they absolutely rightly want to you know, continue to add to the vibrancy of what's already a really brilliant promenade that you know, is bustling with people. So, I mean, I suppose from the DEFA perspective, one of the pieces that we're looking at is how we you know, help to inform the public, I suppose, about the risks that, that exist. So there is signage in those beaches that are not designated for bathing water because we know that they wouldn't pass. But I don't know that that's necessarily prominent enough. <laughs> And it's striking a balance. You know, we want people to use our beaches, but we also, you know, my, my key point around that environmental part of this is that people have to be able to make an informed decision. And they also know some of the detail about how they might mitigate against that. You know, don't just put your clothes back on. You know, make sure you do have a shower. Make sure you do wash off any residue.